What's up everyone, Amy here. This is the first part in the GrooveMail tutorial series for 2022. Now I've created a bunch of GrooveMail videos in 2021, which had the old interface. So in this video, I wanna walk you through the updated process of one, adding a from email address, i.e. sender email, two, connecting an SMTP like SendGrid, and three, adding GrooveMail's webhook URL to SendGrid because if you don't have this in place, you won't be able to send out emails. This is essentially the first video you should be watching if you want to use GrooveMail. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more updated videos. All right, let's go. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to assume that you connected your branded domain to Groove. If you haven't done that yet, please watch episode 48, connect and publish a custom domain to Groove.cm because you will need to do that first before going ahead with this video. Once you've done that, log into Groove Mail and step one is adding a new sender email address. Head to this icon, which is senders, click on it and click on email sender. Over to the right, click on new senders. Now with sender email addresses, you won't be able to use free email addresses like gmail.com, yahoo.com or any website that provides a free email address. The sender email address that you need to add here needs to be connected to your branded domain. For example, me at amyvo.com, which is why you needed to watch episode 48, connect and publish a custom domain first. Now Groove will cover hosting for your websites, funnels and blogs, but you'll need to create your own branded email address. And you've got two options here. Option one is going to Google Workspace and setting up a business email, which is around five US dollars per month. Or option two is creating an account through Zoho, which allows you to create a free business email address. And I've already created this video on my channel. It's episode 51, create a free business email with Zoho. There's a few steps involved in setting up an email with Zoho. So I highly suggest you watch this video and follow along. Once you've got your business domain email set up and it can accept emails, then you can head back to GrooveMail and fill in these details. For sender identity, this is just a name for your reference. For example, I can just add the domain that is associated with this sender email. For the sender name, this is the from sender name. I'll just add in my name. For sender email, enter in your own email address. This needs to be an email you have access to because you're going to receive a verification email from GrooveMail. For reply email, just enter the same email over in the business info tab. You can just enter in the company name. For your address, just enter in a PO box or your own street address. We'll switch back to sender info. Step two is selecting an SMTP driver. Now this is a temporary measure as Groove will have their own SMTP, which is coming soon. Hopefully by the time you watch this, all you need to do is just select GrooveMail SMTP. Right now that's inactive, but when that is available and if you are a paid customer, you can just select this and click save. Now for the time being, you will need to add your own SMTP. I recommend using SendGrid. And if you click on this link, there will be a video guide here that shows you how to set up SendGrid and how to get your SendGrid API. I'm going to walk you through the steps right now in getting that API because it can be a bit overwhelming. Let's leave this screen open, open up a new tab and type in sendgrid.com. And there should be a button on the top right here in which you can get started. Click on that, sign up, log into SendGrid. Once you log into SendGrid, over on the left-hand side, scroll down, click on settings, and you want to click on sender authentication. In order to connect to SendGrid, you need to authenticate your domain. Click on get started. Under one for DNS hosts, you want to click on the drop down click on Cloudflare because Groove uses Cloudflare. So you would select that option. For two, would you also like to brand the links for this domain? Just click on yes, click on next. Under domain you send from, enter in yourdomain.com, click on next. Now you're given five CNAME records that you need to add to Groove DNS. Open up another tab, log back into Groove, click on your avatar here, my accounts, domains, custom domains, manage, 
locate the domain that you created an email address for. And over to the right, you will see DNS, click on it. If you've already got your email account set up, you should have these MX records and TXT records. If you haven't got an email account, this section should appear blank for you. Now you wanna head back into SendGrid and copy and paste the C name records. Let's copy this one first, head back to Groove, click on add record under type, you want to select C name for name, paste that in under content, head back to send grid, and that will be under value. So you click on that, head back here, paste that in TTL, leave as is, do not tick enable Cloudflare proxy and click save. Let's head back to send grid, copy and paste the second C name record, head back here, add record type C name, Paste it in here for content. You head back to SendGrid. That's the second C name. So it's this, copy that. Paste it in content, leave everything as is. This is unticked and press save. Back to SendGrid again. The third C name record, copy that. Add record, C name, paste for content. We'll just head here, copy, paste in content, save. Fourth C name record, copy that. Head back here, add record, C name again. Paste in the C name for content. That was the fourth C name value. So click on that and paste it here. Click on save. Head back to send grid and click on the last C name. Copy that, add record, C name, paste, content. Content is down here. That's the last value, copy paste here and press save. Scroll back up and click on update. Now you wanna head back to SendGrid, go down, tick I've added these records and click verify. Okay, it worked. So we're gonna click on return to sender authentication button. Now you will see domain authentication status is verified and the same goes for link branding. Over to the right, click on API keys. Click create API key, give your API key a name for API key permissions, leave it at full access and click on create and view. You want to click here. So it copies the API key for you. Head into your group mail tab, which had your sender info, scroll down. We selected send grid and over here we can paste in that send grid API and click save. Once you click on save, it should take a few minutes for GrooveMail to send an email verification because currently your verify status says no and it should be yes. In order for it to turn yes, you need to log into your email. This is the link that you wanna click on and you should get a verification is successful message. Head back to GrooveMail and all you need to do is click on the refresh button and you should see your verify status go from a no to a yes. The last step is adding GrooveMail's webhook URL to SendGrid. Again, this is not required when GrooveMail has their own SMTP. But in the meantime, you would go to actions, click on get webhook URL, copy this, head back to SendGrid, head down to settings again, click on mail settings, Click on event webhook or this pencil icon. Authorization method, leave as none. For the HTT post URL, paste in GrooveMail's webhook URL. Scrolling down, check on bounce, open, clicked, and spam reports. Under event webhook status, toggle that over to enabled, click on save. Okay, we're done. Now remember that GrooveMail will have their own SMTP coming very soon. So you won't have to connect to SendGrid or add the webhook URL as a paid customer. If you guys enjoyed these videos, you can help support the channel by buying me a sushi. The link to that is in my pinned comment below. And until next time, see ya.